Okay, for this video I'm going to be covering the ATR6 traction relay valve. The ATR6 valve is a, a part of the R12 and R14 family of air relay valves. The primary role of, this, of any relay valve is to use a small amount of signal air to control a larger quantity of tank air that will allow the brakes to quickly actuate when we press the pedal, or in this case, when the computer commands uh, the brakes to come on. So we understand that any time uh, we have a traction control event that we're gonna want to have a situation where the computer can take control of the air system. Um, the only way that we can do that is by putting some feature on the relay valve that's gonna allow this to happen. In this case, that is this control solenoid that we see right here. So let's just go over a quick review. Uh, of this valve and, and or, or service uh, relay valves. So service relay valves aren't really any different from uh, parking brake relay valves, only that they serve the service side rather than the parking brake side. And it's, it's the same case as it was before where we have signal air right here on the control port That is plumb, so we can trace it back directly into our into our treadle valve. Okay, so we see that when we press the treadle valve, we're going to get air, an air signal from the treadle into uh, the relay valve. The relay valve, the piston inside of the relay valve is gonna move down and it's gonna allow the air from the tanks. In this particular case, it's gonna be my secondary tank to actuate my brake chamber, this type 24 brake chamber. So in the event of a uh, wheel spin, that is occurring like while we're driving. So we don't have our foot on the brakes. We need a way for the computer to actuate our brake. And that's gonna happen with this control solenoid. So inside of this brake can, we have a drill passage from the tank supply air to this control solenoid. So normally, in normal operation, meaning that a non-ABS, I mean, not non-trash control event, uh, what is happening is we have a spring that is holding that air off. So no air is able to act on the top of my piston, my service piston inside of my relay valve. In the case of a trash control event, what happens is we energize this solenoid and allow air to come out through that drill passage and act on the top of the service piston located inside of this relay valve, thus delivering air to my modulator valves. And then the ABS computer is going to actuate and control the modulator valves to bring the wheels back in speed with one another. So basically we have a situation where the trash control is acting in concert with my uh, ABS system. And from that we can always derive that. We can always have a uh, ABS system and not have trash control, but we can never have a trash control system without the ABS system being intact. Um, I will cover the modulator valves in a separate video 
uh, even though they're relatively simplistic in function, I think in that video I would like to cover some ways in which they can go bad. So what kind of faults that we can expect to see if we have a uh, modulator valve failure. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. So again, the ATR6, not any different from my R12 or R14 valve and the lower end function uh, or most any other service uh, air brake relay valve or just any air brake relay valve in general. Uh, it's not really much different in its functionality uh, below the cover. Uh, the biggest thing is the cover and the ability for our AVS computer to actuate a solenoid and then let air come into that uh, and then provide air to our modulator valve so we can modulate air pressure into our air brake chambers. Um, I will attach a sheet, um, the information sheet from Bendix about the ATR6 valve in the description. Leave any questions in the comments. Uh, have a nice day and uh, next video should be up soon.